lake. I'm sitting here in my studio, full mongrel, in the middle of Wales. And I've just um, gotten uh, from my good mate, Andrew Sheps. He's produced this band. His name is Her. And um, I'm going to give it a go on mixing it. They, I think they had some extra vocals um, to do on it, which they shared with Andrew. And now he shared this with me. And I haven't checked the tracks at all. I've just brought it into my template which you can see here is my drum stuff, percussion, bass, guitar, sub mix, string bus, backgrounds, my lead vocal chain, and all this stuff I like to use on it. Uh, here's my effects. I use a lot of stuff. Look at that, look at how nice that's gonna look. Let me just see what that is. Um. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I like that. I really like that. Okay. So I'm just going to listen to the vocal for a second. I've already got a, a notion of what I'm, I want to use on it. Half full, half blind, half awake girl. Half full, half blind, half awake world. There's some leakage on this kick drum. Which I'm going to try to utilize. Let's see if I can get the kick drum to punch out a little bit more in the mid range. So I'm going to send this to this hands amp. I love the pedal. I've been using these things since the late 80s. And the plugins just as cool. I use them for EQ, for distortion, for just tone shaping. They're great. see the kind of sounds that you get from just playing with your high and low pass filter and phase, um, which is just another part of EQ. I'm going to do some spreading out. And what I, I'm going to choose here is, is um, something I've used for a long time. It would normally be Buenos Notches uh, patch on an H3000 Ultra Harmonizer, but my Ultra Harmonizer broke a couple of years ago, so this is my new modulating spreader. And you can see I've, I've got some uh, modulation going on these two different kinds of modulators. It's just sort of filtering. Um, you know, one's a flange. Uh, I don't have a lot of feedback. I'm not hearing it as flange. For me, it's just doing a very slow movement, both of them, and they're not ever going to sync up, so it's quite random. And it'll change every mix. And I like that. I like that it's always changing and that every mix that I print is going to be different, whether it's the vocal up or the vocal down or whatever it is, this is never going to be the same unless I print it, which I don't like to do. Um, so that is doing what it's doing and going through the SRS, which is a piece of outboard gear. Let's see what that does to this guitar. I'll take it off. It's pretty mono without anything. Put that on there. There you go. Pretty lovely, slow movement, kind of surround. And I, that kind of stuff gets me off. I like it. At this point, I think I got to hear how we start. I like surprises, so it doesn't matter if there's a, some surprise. A rolling of thunder, wolves calling each other as the roses they cover in the black of... I like the sound of this keyboard, this Juno, really sounds like an old uh, Fats Waller organ or something. Rolling of... Fats Waller's an old keyboard player from the 40s. I know, I'm showing my age here.
So that's a little plug-in from the old days, wrapped in this um, blue cat patchwork um, little mixer, and it's from the pod um, pod farm, and I just love this cassette eater thing. I'll use it for as long as they'll let me. That's pretty cool, come on. And I'm gonna put that through my SRS. Um, stereo bus. I've just been adding things and mixing things up and it changes often. Uh, this just happens to be the stuff that I'm using at the moment. Um, I'm really liking what I can get out of all these things. Uh, there's all such powerful plugins. A big part of the level is coming from these last two. I've got the inflator here. Let's take that out. That's quite a big drop. And again here, let's, let's put that up. And no 4,000 up. And there's an even bigger drop. But you can also see that at the loudest part of the song, I'm not, I'm not anywhere near my threshold. Oh, this is doing more color stuff. Um, and mainly, I think this guy's giving me some good low end. No, I seem to recall the perfume of roses, the dead down hiding the two drops of frozen. Half full, half done, half so I think they're both adding a little bit of bit of low end, sort of what I remember getting out, out of a um an ATR-100. Uh, this, again, I'm just getting this lovely, sweet top end out of. You're just using the process that ups the level uh, a little bit, but that's not why I'm using it. I'm not trying to get level out of this. But these two guys are my, are my level. I know it is affecting the transients, um, but I'm not flattening them. The plugins are sounding so good, there's so many. Um, but I want to stress on this, don't, you know, it doesn't matter about which plugins I'm using so much. Um, you know, I could do it with others, with other plugins. Um, I'd, get, I'd get something I like, as long as it's the flavor. It doesn't have to be the exact sound. I'm not, I'm not that picky. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Uh, I think it's in a really good place. I'm ready to send this off to Andrew uh, with some trepidation. Because uh, I've, I've changed a lot, um, and um, only because of my preferences and, and how it hit me today um, of working on this, uh, which could change tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping that they like it, but um, that's one of the reasons I, I like working in the box, and I don't really want to do it any other way, is if they don't like what I've done here, I can so easily change it um, and not lose anything. Um, and we, I can go halfway back. I can, uh, you know, merge some of their ideas from their mix with some of mine. Um, it's all so simple. I really like this, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and print this and then share it with them and see what happens.